Welcome back guys to another video and today we are on the squad's farming server no creek farms And we are yeah, we're gonna be hanging out here and and doing him a service guys last time we repoed him We licked him we yeah, we repoed his bulldozer and his planner and some of you guys got super mad Some of you guys were so mad at me for repoing his dozer. You got so mad and you know It was just all kind of fun and you know, I didn't even actually like like I gave it back to him right after that and uh, yeah I just thought that was really funny. Some of you guys were like, dude, don't repo the squad's dozer. He didn't, he's pay, he paid for it. He paid the bills and stuff. And uh, we were just kind of role playing it and stuff. But anyway, today it snowed here. As you can tell, there's a lot of snow on the ground. And uh, the, the street, the kind of city plows or, um, you know, the big cat graders that come down the old gravel roads already got the roads. But the squad, as you can tell, um, he's got a new farm to kind of take care of other than this one <clears throat> and uh we got to well, i should probably wait to put this on what am i doing okay i'll i'll, I'll tell you why we got to get this off real quick um and yeah so we're gonna go help him out we are going to his farm we got as you can tell we got that wheel load over there with the box plow that box plow in our last snow snow removal video is the best plow in the game no doubt no doubt about it the best plow in the game and that's what we're gonna be using and then also these snow blowers work amazingly well too and yeah, we, we just got two pieces of equipment and uh, the snowblowers, kind of small stuff that we got to shoot far away. And the box file, obviously, for, for getting, the, you know, 90% of the stuff removed. Okay, I thought this good load of tracks would be able to get... Okay, there we go. Oh, come on now. See, the tracks... I don't know. Sometimes tracks are good in some scenarios, but as you can tell, guys, we can't even... Right there, I get stuck. Kind of annoying. It's actually super duper annoying. That's... The tracks are not good at crawling or getting up things. Come on, big cat. Oh, maybe we can use the, the snowblower. Come on. Come on. I'm trying to rock it up and down. Rock, baby. Shake it. All right. Come on. Come on. Are you there? Oh, oh, I thought I had it. I thought I had it. Come on. Oh, my goodness. All right. There we go. Nice. Okay. That was a little harder than I thought. And this is probably going to be way harder. We might get super duper lucky, but... I'm not going to mess with it anymore. We're just going to kind of leave it like that. And then, yeah, I need to get our... This is bad. We got dualies on the... Okay, let's try not to hit it so hard that we shake everything. We're kind of half in the ditch right now. Because when the skid loader, like, pushed it a bit. All right. This is going to be a tight haul, boys. All right. Now we're going to come in here. Get our heavy hauler hookup. It's honestly not that, not that far driving. I shouldn't be going too fast. You guys know me, crazy Russian driver out here. We might, we might, uh, we might fill our equipment, but there we go. All right, we're heading over to Squad's farm, his farmhouse, and oh my goodness, look at the skits here back there. She's, she's jumping up and down from every single bump, but there we go. There's his farm right there, and yeah, we're gonna be plowing kind of like the, the main kind of drive-in and all that stuff. He, yeah, he, he's been away out of town at his new farm, so we gotta go help him out and, uh, and clear stuff. So he'll be happy, guys. We're giving. You guys think I'm always hating on the squad we repo and all this stuff? Oh no, it's not turning. It barely turned there. Oh my goodness, thank God we got we got out of the ditch. But today, guys, we're kind of giving back. So all you guys who gave me a lot of heat for that, oh my goodness, we're upside down. Uh, yeah, we're, we're giving back to the squad. I felt bad, felt bad for you guys who got mad. <laughs> yeah, somebody called, commented, "Give squad's dozer back." He he didn't. He paid the bills. Give it back. He stole it. Even though I repoed it. But anyway, there we go. Okay. Here we are. Here's where like the city road kind of just kept going on. And this, all that white there, it actually snowed a lot. It's really cool. It snowed a lot. Um, and yeah, there we go. Okay, let's turn this bad boy off. We don't need to be wasting any gas. Okay. I'm thinking we take the box plot first. Kind of lay down a uh, a good, good push up front. And I'll show you guys um, how good, if you have not seen us use this in action, I'll show you how good this bad boy is. This is my favorite piece of snow removal equipment ever watch this guys this is oh we need to bring it down just a bit i mean just absolutely insane piece of equipment it works super good right now that was too like long of a strip to like it got full that's what i'm trying to say well look at pile. look at that pile right there that is insane and i'll just show you guys two to three passes right here this bad boy will be will be just brand it'll be looking like summer on this stuff. Alright, we do need to... For some reason, it's not picking it up. There we go. Okay. 
Now she's picking it up. I got Dooley's up front because all this snow. There we go. Look at that pile, boys. Yeah, okay. Three passes here, and this is going to be nice and clean. Then the snowblower is going to be super good for, like, around the around the barns and kind of walkways. And then also just those are good in general. For some reason, there's, like, a glitch right here. And I'm trying to pick up that, like, little bit. You see it, right? My plow. So my plow's on the ground. Um, oh, that little strip is making me so mad. I don't know. Maybe it's the uneven ground right there. And there's going to be some spots, guys, that we just, like, can't. The game won't let us get, um, there's a lot of spots, actually, that it probably won't let us. Yeah. So, there we go, boys. A lot of snow removal today. And, and yeah, here's his it's kind of, like, farm. Let me just do a quick 360. There's a shed over there. I actually went inside that shed and, and grabbed his planter. There we go. All right. I'm thinking I'm just going to push until I can't push no more and try and make a good long path here. It kind of scrapes the top, but then also it does fill up. It does fill up. Like like any plow would, it starts to dribble on the side. You can't, like, hold it all, but it does hold a super-duper good amount. Yeah, keep pushing. There we go. We just need to go as far as that, and then we're going to make a pile back there. And, yeah, but just, guys, look at what... Look at that. that I mean, that's super... Oh, is my... Oh, so my dualies, the outside tires are skinnier than the... And the inside ones. But I, I do want to get the snowboarder running as well. Alright, boys. Alrighty. It, the, but there is one kind of disadvantage with the box plow on a, you know, kind of articulating wheel loader. Yeah, for some reason we aren't able to pick up some locations of snow, but others we are. A little weird. Really weird, actually. I have no clue why. Like, sometimes skips over but no i this is my recommendation be best plow that i've ever like worked with or moved snow with i would give it a hundred percent it's a it's a beast i guess i could just oh no is she sp we're spinning what the heck how can we oh it's kind of like bottoming out a little bit there we go lay the plow down i'm just Struggling a little bit with getting it down all the way. It doesn't seem like it wants to kind of scrape that perfect, you know, get it clean all the way down. There we go. Okay, now it's... But the wheels are off the ground. We don't want that. We don't want to be smashing it on the ground too much. Yeah, should we pull out the blower? I'm thinking we're going to get the old snow blower out. Get her working. Kind of get some pass around there. Because this thing is a beast. And it, and it runs super good. It runs... Super, super good. All right. Back up here. And then let's get the old E770 out. The old Bobcat. Here we go, boys. Check out the snowblower. Oh, let's not do that. Definitely turn off the engine. Okay, nice. Quick 180. Off we go. Again, the tracks. The, are we stuck right there? I don't know, guys. I don't think the tracks are the way to go. They, I mean, in real life, they kind of are. Like, in real life, they're pretty good. But, okay, here we go. We got to lower this down first. We have to go over here. Turn it on. Twist it. What? We're going to go to the left here. Yeah, she blows. There we go. It goes so fast, too. It's not like a lot of things where when you, when you have, like, something attached to it and it's running... That it only goes like what like 10 like obviously like when you run the combine it slows down a lot more but with this no that's not the case and there we go and then it is throwing snow you guys see it build up there off to the left you need to be kind of careful um keep aiming it into like this island right here there we go yeah the squad's place is gonna look super good after we're done with it guys there we go Keep throwing snow. I'm trying to aim it in the island. There we go. Oh, let's not do that. Nice, beautiful. It's looking super good. And like I'm saying, like it's speedy. This is a speedy piece of equipment that we got. Guys, we can make super huge piles with this. Keep shooting it back on the same spot over and over. There we go. Nice. Okay. It works good, boys. It works real good. We clean up we're gonna clean up 
this like little strip right here. Try and make it look really good. That's what the, the snowblower is good for, like kind of cleaning up things, making them look really, really good. Be right there. That's awesome. Okay, nice. Spin around real quick. Oh, did we just? I think we accidentally just snowblowed that. All right, where do we blow up to now? Just straight ahead, honestly. I think we go straight ahead here. And then what? We just keep plowing over the same stuff until so we're, we got a good spot to unload. Then, yeah, that island. We have Yeah, there's an island by those trees that we're going to be unloading to. There we go. Nice. Yeah, the snowblower, guys, does work. Look at this. Amazing. Amazing piece of equipment. Super good. Squaw's going to be happy. Squaw's going to be happy. We're going to make this place real good for him. Sometimes you just you gotta do the nice thing after after repoing all his stuff. You know he's not too happy about that. Sometimes you just gotta do the right thing. We're coming back. All right, so that's a good path right there. And now we gotta kind of uh, gotta kind of knock out the rest of that stuff. So let me kind of park this off in the snow. Keep it running. Look at that, guys. You you can't even look at the piles that we are making these are huge drifts huge drifts the wind is going to make these bad boys yeah the wind wind's going to blow some stuff it, it, if the wind does pick up it'll blow bad and kind of mess this place up but anyway here we go i'm thinking where should we plow kind of this section of snow too because with how deep this snow is guys it does fill up pretty quick in my right hand my bottom right hand corner it's starting to fill up like right there we're already like 50 percent full 80, 100 right there. I'm trying to think of a good spot to kind of dump it. I don't want to... I'm going to have to make like a big pile right there. And then I'm thinking kind of dump everything or push everything, excuse me, right into these trees kind of. So in springtime, I can get all the water. Oh, power washer. The power washer might get a wee bit snowy. Oh, wow, it doesn't even like fill in that much. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to push everything kind of into the in the the island there. I'm struggling. I the box plow works so good, but I think the snow is deep and you know, obviously all pieces of equipment are kind of be going to be struggling when the snow gets so deep. Not everything's going to work like exactly how you want it, but keep chugging, boys. We got to keep chugging. The piles are huge, guys. We did not have... When we did uh, snow plowing, I thought our winter storm was bad. This is nothing. Then again, we are doing farming Friday, guys. We are, we're uh, we're at the farm. I We aren't actually farming, but at least we're at the farm. It's Friday, and yeah. You guys had a great Friday, and I love doing these Friday videos. Okay. See, right there, it pushed it all perfectly. Just kind of how I wanted it. So I'm, I'm thinking... It, I mean, I want to get, like, this whole place with, like, one push, but the plow fills up too quick for that. 70, 60. Oh, right there. It, like, lost some. We are making huge, super huge piles. That's insane. This is, like, when you go to the mall and they have those huge piles with all that equipment because the mall parking lots are so big. I don't know. Maybe some of you guys don't go to malls because you live in the country, but there we go. At all that we're doing some work boys yeah see right there that was what i wanted I, that was a clean push everything was flat everything pushed really good oh let's oh we might have just hit his auger boys okay we're gonna have to tell him that we smoked his auger but yeah he does kind of have a new farm now that's why we're here he doesn't have the time to come back and plow it out himself and uh yeah he's away is he on vacation i'm not sure guys let me know where the squad is at on this video because I think he started a new a new farm server. Oh no. He he just said that he needed help. So he, he called the best snow removal crew in the game. That is Spencer TV snow removal. Okay. What I'm thinking is we make like two or three passes with a snowblower. So that's da, 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 da. there she is. Thinking that we make like a bunch of passes. Okay, okay. Let's get our control panel on. going there we go oh my goodness like i said the snowblowers usually run like a butte clark 
But today, I mean, the snow is just so high up, guys. Everything is just, everything, it just takes a lot more to run. You just got to go slower and let them, let them kind of work. All right. Let's get, let's get, come on, Spencer TV. Why are you just parking things in the middle places? Okay, I'm thinking we kind of park it. Kinda, I just want to get it out of the way for now because I want to clear this, this big old lot out. There we go, boys. The S770. Is it the T or the S? Because if I when I hopped in there, it's a T S770 slash T770. Not sure. Let me know, guys. Okay. There we go. Now we're going to town. Oh, why? Maybe I have it too. There we go. I think I had it like scraping on the ground and it was kind of like picking up. Oh, we were going too fast. Yeah, see, if you go too fast, you kind of like skip over the snow. Get a good beat there. There we go. And what I'm doing is I'm actually holding left control and then spamming I, just clicking it over and over. And what's that? That's actually like because it stops unloading. Like, it's kind of annoying how you have to do it, but that's just. Oh, guys, we're taking out this huge pile. I'm just going back and forth on it. Holy cow. But yeah. Let's make sure that... Okay, we, were, aren't, we weren't shooting it into the other lane that we already cleared. We're actually, like, on the island kind of part. Okay, nice. That was super good. Awesome. Okay, let's switch the, the blower the other way. Okay. Oh, boys. Let her eat. Look at that. That is such a sick, like, kind of animation that plays. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. And yeah, we're just going to keep... I, I guess I could have just backed up. I didn't really have to turn around when we did. That one time. All right. Spam it. Spam it. I'm just spamming I. Go the slower we go. And then you see it piling up on the right, guys. This is the most realistic snowblower. We've had problems in the past, like finding snowblowers that actually like run right. And do things right and these snowblowers are the best these snowblowers by far you get a wheel loader one you can get like a tractor one that hooks up on a three-point you can get uh, skid loader ones that hook up on skid loader attachments it, it's the best snowblower in the game at least in my opinion um yeah so there we go um where are we blowing this stuff to oh my god just kind of want to get it out of here get it out of here boys I might just blow it straight and just go like super duper slow. There we go. But I'm a little worried that it's gonna like kind of pile up here eventually. There, we're gonna blow it against the barn. Gonna make a pile right there. Yeah, we'll not right on the barn. We don't wanna blow it right on the barn because when this stuff does melt, that's a lot of water just shooting right, like seeping into the barn and maybe flooding it. Causing damage and stuff. We we don't want to do that. We do not want to do that. All right, this stuff is thick, guys. I don't know how much it snowed. We need to get like a ruler out and check. But this is insane. All right, guys, we are going to keep messing around here and see how we can do with the skid loader. All right, guys, look at what what we just knocked out with the skid loader. Did a super good job. I actually did figure out how to uh, keep the loader or the the snowblower running while I I just have to put it in cruise control. I put it like a three or four miles an hour. And she just goes to town slow and steady and uh yeah that's super clean that part where it kind of bows out it it like didn't want to snow blow it or something maybe due to because there was a bin there and that's like a loading spot not sure actually like not sure at all why that uh why that was the case but i don't know I really don't i really don't know okay we got it so so what we need to knock out is pretty much what you can see right now not too much left Box plow should be able to kind of handle most of it. Unless we do, I mean, the snowboarder is good for long stretches. Like, box plow, you don't want to box, like, too long of stretches. Because then it it, uh, it starts to pile up, dribbles happen, and it kind of gets shaky. Like, I, I plow, and then things go underneath the plow. And then and then the wheel loader, like, can't, like, really get too much horse. Can't, it, it's just not getting in good grip to keep pushing the snow. That's, that's also a problem in what we kind of want to stay away from. Is long stretches and that's why I got the snowblower out to kind of just finish up what we kind of couldn't get with those long really long stretches 
Oh, uh, plowing. Okay. Then maybe we get... Okay, okay. Keep going probably to here. And then I can't push it any more towards the barn. I'm thinking we gotta do this way. Go the opposite way. There we go. Okay, nice. I mean, it's something about pushing snow and when it all just kind of works out perfect. Very satisfying. Super nice that uh, box plow works good because plows in the past have not worked good at all. The way to go with this bad boy. I mean, the plows that we make, they're so clean. They work so good. And yeah, they're super nice. Okay. Lower back down, boys. There we go. There we go. Up. Oh. That's clean. That's clean, boys. Okay, let's let's try and scrape the front of this. I mean, not all the places on this farm are going to be, act, uh, like, accessible. But, uh, pretty much, I mean, like, 90% of it. And the stuff that he's going to be using all the time. Okay, awesome. We got that super clean right there. Right in front. So we can go in and out really easily. Park your stuff. Nice. Okay. What am I thinking now? I'm thinking, I'm thinking that we need to keep kind of pushing angle, like, angle push some of this. So come in kind of... And then crest it out, out here. Up. And then it's super nice using wheel loaders because, like, not... I mean, tractors will work too, but the the way that we can move the, the plow up and down so quickly and so, like, fluently is super nice. And sometimes tractors don't, like, give you the ability to move it up that good that quick. Especially if you're, like, got, like a snowblower on the back or you got a plow on the back. Just anything. Or, like, a grader on the back of the tractor. Okay. There we go. Nice. And let's push kind of the remainder of this. I'm thinking with the whole box. Kind of clean some of it up with the plow. Yeah, I'll show you guys my technique kind of that I that I kind of came up with, I would say. Where I just use cruise control. We just cruise along. We got the snowblower going. Tunes popping. We, we might uh, get some snacks in there too. All right. Lift up just a hair. Okay. Gonna make some pushes here. Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes she just doesn't want to pick up. I mean, way better than any plow that we've ever used. Oh, we we won't even be able to do this. Not gonna lie. With an, with with any other plow besides the box plow, uh, plowing is not really uh, not really a, a good kind of like thing programmed into farming simulator. Like a lot of times, just like random like not good mod plows. But what I'm trying to say is the majority of plows made uh, that you can download for mods like are not that good and don't really work too good with farm simulators kind of uh, like physics that it plays along with with the snow and with like the seasons mod. That's if you guys understood what I said there. So, okay. Um, I'm thinking a lot of it is just more clean up with the plow, honestly. There we go. Keep pushing. Nice. Okay, that pile's huge right there. That is huge. Okay. Yeah, it looks like a lot of stuff we can kind of clean up with the, the snow snow blower. And I, I think you guys... I want to show you... Check this out, boys. Check this out. All right, so she's firing up. Oh, maybe she... There we go. Let me get my control panel up. Let's turn her on. Okay, we're just going to kind of clean some of this stuff up. There we go, nice. Okay. Da, 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 da. Here. Take a straight shot. There we go. Okay, so it's unloading. And as you can tell, I'm shooting up ahead. And I can move it kind of while I'm on the go. Go, boys. Oh, that pile's getting big. It's like angle, angle direct it right up. Look at that, guys. That's sick. That is so cool. It's so realistic. Oh, my goodness. That's realistic. All right, so what I'm doing, I'm shooting straight ahead of us, and I just keep kind of picking it up. Oh, what happened there? Oh, we weren't able to plow that. Do I know why? No, I did not know. All right, there we go. Look at that, boys. That, that, okay, that's smooth, that's smooth. Nice, okay. Yeah, sometimes when there's a break in snow, the, the, like, the, the blower kind of turns off a bit. 
Oh, sir. Look at that. Should we should we pile just everything in this gigantic pile right here? We're gonna cover up that tank right there, guys. That's insane how big this pile is getting. I think that's as big as it might be able to get. Not sure. We're just gonna kind of keep pointing at it as we drive by. Oh my goodness. All right, now we got a point straight. Okay, nice. That was a good. That was a good push. Yeah. See, why is it shooting? But I don't know. Sometimes it picks up when it says that it's not unloading, and sometimes it doesn't. There we go. Okay, let's kind of clean some of this stuff up. This might be kind of good spot to do with the plow. Uh oh, am I stuck? See, sometimes the skid loader is not good. I mean, you would think it, you think the skid loader track would be good with the snow, but it, it honestly is not, boys and girls. It is not. Okay, let's crank it over here. We're getting that pile up. Look at that. She's growing. <laughs> the pile's so huge, guys. Yeah, that pile's humongous. Okay. Now, okay, guys, this is so good. All this stuff is just going to, like, the stuff that we... Oh. What's wrong? See, we were stuck, right? Oh, it's because there was, like... We must have bottomed out. I don't know, guys. The, the skid loader, the skid sear does, does some weird stuff like that. All right, let's point it straight. Start unloading, get cruise control on. Point it straight and shoot forward, boys. Straight shooters. It is tough because we, we keep plowing over like the same stuff. Keep blowing over the same stuff. Yeah, we just make it hard on ourselves when there's nowhere to shoot to left and right, but only ahead. There we go. Nice. Perfect. That looks like a good one there. We'll back up here. Get this strip. There we go. And then I can kind of angle shoot it. I can shoot it like up high ahead. And then I can kind of shoot it when we get closer. Kind of angle it down more. Pretty big piles here. You see how now I'm kind of like shooting directly in front of us. And there we go. Okay, nice. That's a good... Oh, that's good looking. All right. Maybe... I wonder if I'll be able to hit it all the way from over there. No way. No way, we are not making it. I thought we could make it like all the way to that pile over there, but no way at all we were ever gonna make that. All right, keep shooting straight. And yeah, should almost be done around this house here. And this place is gonna look super nice. We're taking our time too, guys. We aren't rushing through it, making sure everything looks super duper good. I mean, we have some like white specks everywhere, which, but you can't really do too much about that. There's always gonna be like that little kind of. Uh, like kind of glaze of snow underneath can't really do anything about that when you're plowing because the plow doesn't get right to the ground guys and if it did there would be potholes galore because that's how plot pot like potholes like 90 percent of them are made so when the plow in the winter goes over and then it like hits uh where two pieces of concrete are made like two sections and it hits that crack and just digs it up and yeah that's how you make potholes and that's why they Especially when there's like a, a thin layer, they don't want to... Sometimes the plows don't go out if there's not enough snow. I mean, obviously, because they don't need to. And then also, they don't want to, like, damage the roads any more than they have to. Alright, boys. That pile's getting big, too. That pile's getting super big. Make some passes here. There we go, man. Alright, this pile... we. See, I can direct it like to shoot directly in front of us and then kind of lift up too. That's the nice thing about it. There we go. Lift up high. And then, yeah, I wish we could shoot it like... I, I guess I shouldn't be complaining, but it would be cool if we could shoot it like 50 yards in front of us. Something insane like that, but this is... Um, like, I shouldn't be complaining at all. We've had way worse mods than this. We've had... We tried to get like chippers, wood chippers, working for snowblowers. But anyway, 
there we go guys i think this is going to wrap it up for clean for snow blowing the squad's farm on no creek farms hopefully you guys did enjoy the video this place looks super nice super duper clean and we just got our we just guys look at that we just our skid loader stuck what the heck but anyway, anyway if you did like the video please make sure to smash that like like button by letting me know thanks so much guys peace out see you in the next one